South Pacific, brave American boys are fighting and winning. It is slow, hard, dangerous fighting. Fighting in mud and heat and dense jungle. You are about to see an official motion picture of an amphibious operation. Authentic War Department photographs taken during the Rendova and Munda campaign. Rendova, as you probably know, is an island in the new Georgia group. Taking of Rendova was important. It gave us an advanced base Japanese had built at Munda, only a few miles away. The American flag now flies at Munda, and American planes now roar down the Munda runway. A little closer to Japan, a little farther along the road to Tokyo. The price of Rendova was the blood and sweat of heroes. In Guadalcanal, an American task force assembles supplies and firepower for another offensive. Our objective was the air and naval base at Munda. We planned to pound Munda with our big artillery by first seizing Rondova five miles away. Crucial jobs for all in this task force. All depended on the fighting tools put in their hands by American labor and industry. This is the end of the assembly line. The men who stake their lives on the mines and mills and industrial strength of America. Randover shore installations come within range of our big naval guns. are coming. American boys determined to crush the enemy on his own territory. Our naval guns have driven him off the beach. Our men prepare for the landing. The weather is with us as our task force approaches Rendova. Rain and mist, ideal cover for our assault. Meanwhile, our main forces will remain on board offshore and wait for the signal beachhead established before following with our supplies and heavy equipment. On the success of the first assault depends the success of the entire operation. Boat bottoms scrape land, and here they come. Nothing is tougher than an assault like this. Nothing demands more nerve, more sheer guts. In every theater, Americans are fighting this kind of war. A war of assault from the sea, on grounds where the enemy has dug himself in. These and the following scenes were taken during the Rendova and Munda campaign. A land battle wagon. Our spearhead becomes stronger. The first of our steel smashes in. Infantry tank team follows up. The Jap, like all savage fighters, has taken to the trees. We spread into the jungle to hunt him down. Randolph is 20 miles of hot, steaming wilderness. A paradise for snipers. Sniper. We move cautiously. For years, the Jap has been perfecting this type of warfare. We're learning to excel him at it. Our men carry light weapons, rifles, BARs, carbines, machine guns. Every tree is a possible one-man enemy fortress. Visibility is almost zero. Death can come from above, from coconut log bunkers on the ground, from every side. The order is advance. Weapons plus skill plus courage add up to victory. Our men have skill and courage. Millions of willing American hands will see that enough weapons are delivered for moments like these. 
will keep on delivering until no more American lives are sacrificed to Japs and Nazis. These are the soldiers of Japan. Objective taken. Begin phase two. Beachhead established. Beachhead established. Our job on Randova now is to move in with all available supplies and equipment, with food for our men, fuel for our motors, ammunition, tools. Dig in and dig in fast. On nearby Munda, heavily garrisoned, the news of our landing on Randova is probably already known. We can expect counterattack from the air, strafing, bombing, bombardment by Jap naval units. We're counting on beating the Japs to the punch, pounding Munda with our heavy land-based batteries before they can organize for counterattack. Landing more men to push the attack. Working against time, plowing roads through the jungle. Landing guns, food rations, processed, grown by our farmers. More food shipped, packed, shipped thousands of miles to this combat front. Shells, small arms ammunition, piling up headaches for the Japs. Fuel drums, hard work, backbreaking necessary. More supplies moving in. Shells for our long-range guns. Heavy caliber ammunition, armor-piercing projectiles for the 105, the 155, for anti-aircraft. More and more, and still not enough. Batteries to blast the enemy. Guns being rushed into position against the deadline of inevitable Jap attack. More guns. Guns of all caliber moving up into the treacherous jungle. Through clearings, blasted by offshore bombardments. Through underbrush. The 155 howitzer. Through mud. The 105 howitzer. Hub deep in mud, the 155 millimeter rifle. These big babies need plenty of clearance to pitch their shells. No time to chop down the coconut trees. Charges are pinned to the trunks. Our long toms in position, camouflage. Blasting at the enemy on Munda. Jet dive bombers coming to knock out our guns. Counter attack from the sky. They score hits. Part of an ammunition dump. Oil. Vehicles. Guns. Material that will have to be replaced by the factory front. Material that can never be replaced. The price paid for Randova and Munda. Litter bearers evacuate the wounded to the battalion aid station. Here in a jungle clearing, an emergency aid station has been set up. Surgical dressings, life-giving plasma, medical supplies made by American workers to combat shock, wounds, loss of blood in a fight to the finish. Blood from home, to bring him home. Souvenir, bomb fragment, to be returned tenfold. What the Japs didn't get, salvaged guns evening up the score. 
The sweat and guts of these men took Munda. Mission accomplished. But they won't stop there.